I was called uh, saying that there had been the accident and it was getting a little bit rough over there. So I ran over there, my, uh, my sons were there. Then the police came and said they, it's, they couldn't guarantee the safety of the area and they asked all the Jewish people who were there to leave. Uh, things got, went from bad to worse. Some of them went running around the streets and uh, a few hours later, a couple of hours later, they, uh, four or five blocks away, they, they met Janko Rosenbaum and uh, he was stabbed s several times. I got a phone call at home about 10 o'clock and I was told that there, was, there had been a car accident and the mayor's office was trying to find out what was going on in Crown Heights. We went out on Eastern Parkway and we began to talk with both sides. We spoke to the young people in the Hasidic community, we spoke to young people in the black community and tried to quell the anger that had been developing between both groups. And um, each of them had some very big concerns because at this point in time, Yanko Rosenbaum had been stabbed. So the word was out that he was stabbed. And of course, Yank, uh, Gavin Cato now, the word was out that he, had, he hadn't survived uh, the accident. So both sides were very, very uh, edgy, and the police were caught off guard at that moment because they weren't coming out to expect this condition. We knew, I mean, we saw the police behind us, so we, we thought it was like uh, safe to, to, to walk. There were a bunch of uh, teenagers, you know, of black teenagers, I don't know, maybe uh, about 40, 50, and uh, they were all together and chanting Jew, 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 Jew. And they were coming toward us and they started to, 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 to throw uh, uh, stones, uh, bricks, and uh, that's where I, I got uh, a brick on my, uh, on my head. And there, were, there was that uh, black lady that came close to us and she was really, really uh, upset. And she said, uh, sir, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we're not all like that. We know that a lot of, 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 of the people here in the, in the Crown Heights from the black community are a, a nice people and, and want to have you know, peace with us. You know. Peacemaking was what we did initially that first few days. And then peacekeeping is what we've been doing for the last 20 years. All the things we've done was just to bring community together, pollinate, just bring little things to the young people in the streets and uh, communicate with the Hasidic community, create communication. Uh, between both communities, uh, both the young people and their parents. The, the atmosphere is, is a much different one for the simple reason that um, the black community doesn't see the Jewish community as a threat to them, as was portrayed by the rebel rousers of, of, of the early 90s. The same issues that the Jewish people have, that the black community has, uh, security in the streets, there's been a lot of murders in, our, in the neighborhood comparatively as to previous years and, and other, other issues of crime which uh, crime knows no color.